113. A little bit lower on the black than you would have liked. I don't know if you can hold in the middle of the table just to avoid the blue or... Depends how he sees it. He's missed the blue. The cue ball needs to slow up a touch. Just slow up a touch. 120. He's got the game, he's got the nerve, but the pink still looms up as a major obstacle. Yes, I think if the pink was on the spot, we would consider this as done, but it's a bit tricky. 129. He's got a nice angle on the blue, but it's all about trying to get on this pink at an angle to get on the black. The easier he can leave the pink, the better. One hundred thirty-four. Well, he's on the pink, but he's not on the angle to get comfortably on the black. I assume it's going to be the right middle, but he's going to have to play it with pace and come in and out of balk. Good shot needed. 57,000 pounds. And let's not forget, it also gives him a 5 2 lead. That's the final part. It was onto the side jaw, but not far enough to miss it. So on his 24th visit to the Crucible, in his 18th World Championship quarter-final, Stephen hits his ninth 147 maximum break, the ninth of the Crucible. Well played, Stephen Hendry. And we can see it's the 68th in professional snooker and the 45th in a world ranking event, the 37th on the television, the ninth of the Crucible and the ninth by Stephen Hendry. And it carries a decent paycheck too, John. Yeah, 147,000 for the maximum, plus 10,000 for the highest break. Wonderful break. When you looked at the reds at the beginning of it, you think, can't be a maximum. But if you know, a couple of plants involved in it, superb play. Ridiculous to try and grade 147s, but if you were <laughs> going to, where does that one stand? Well, I think you'd have to grade the ones at the Crucible as the, the best, regardless, because of the prize money. Uh, you need a bit of help, but as John says, where the pack was to start with, it was a tough one. Uh, he did get a bit of help with the plants, but I think only one of two or three players could have made that break. And from five reds out, it really was immaculate. Held his nerve so well in keeping what, what I said before. When he's needed to clear up uh, in various departments of this game, he's done the business, and he could possibly be the dark horse for the event. How stupid would that be? Stephen Hendry trying to turn back the years of the Crucible is a very exciting story. It is, and you know, it's amazing to think he came here full of gremlins in his head. He got Mark up past Mark Williams, and he's got stronger and stronger once he got past Ding Jun Wee, and now he's looking a serious, serious player. A great 147. Well done, Stephen Hendry. On we go to the next frame. Stephen is nine behind. <laughs> 